prepare our heart for receiving. Sisters and me, outside got people or not? Can you please invite them to come? Okay, thank you. So everything in your heart, let us surrender to Him. Let us tell our Abba Father, give, his, give Him our petition, give Him our prayer. We say thank you. We say, oh God, we need you at this moment. And also we take this moment to repent, to ask for forgiveness. Let us close our eyes and pray. Those who know how to speak in tongue, let us speak in tongue for one minute. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. As this opening prayer for you, oh God, we give you the glory, we give you the praise. There is no one else like you, oh God, Jesus. There is no one else like you. For you are, are the good, good Father. For you are the Lord that is so faithful. You are so faithful to your love. You are so faithful to your promise. You are so faithful to your mercy. Oh God, have mercy on us. Oh God, we ask for open heaven here, oh God. We need you, we need you, oh God. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Hey, Ananamashi, Ananamase, 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 We worship you, we praise you, Yeshua, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Hey, Ananamashi, Ananamama. Oh, Jesus Christ, we surrender our service unto your hand. May today we magnify your glorious name. You are our mighty warrior. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah. You are the faithful God, your faithful provider. We are here standing here victoriously because of you, because of your victory, because you already overcome our obstacles from by you, oh God. We God, we thank you for the precious blood that you have poured onto us, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for today is the day they have made for you. Today is the day that we magnify your great name, oh God. We surrender our service unto your hand, oh God. May your Holy Spirit come and anoint each one. Open our eyes, open our heart, open our mind, because these three things belong to you, oh God. We want to worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. And what is truth is the word of God. We want to listen to you. May your anointing all flow from your throne, oh God, and come to in this SLA church, oh God. God, you want to pray to God. You remember SLA. You remember our name, oh God. We pray and praise you, oh God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the glory, oh God. There is nothing good about us, but there is tremendous goodness from you, oh God. Church, let's let's let raise up and prepare to worship our God, to prepare and praise Him. So you give Him all the glory, you give Him all the clap, you give Him all, everything you can, your instruments, open your mouth and say, glory, glory, hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus Christ. He deserves our good applause. Amen. Give Him a good clap, give Him a good shout of joy. Amen. Because He is here with us. His good name is worth for us to magnify. Amen. Shalom, brother and sister. We, before we begin with our worship, let us take this moment. Pray in spirit. We invite the Holy Spirit to be upon us. Hallelujah. Oh. Come 
one, open your hearts, open your hearts. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the glory. want to speak life speak jesus jesus you're the one to break our chain you're the one to bear our shame jesus yes his name is jesus jesus we love you we want more of you Come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, continue, continue. Continue to pray in spirit. Oh, glory, glory to you, Continue, continue. Take this moment to pray in spirit. Tell Jesus, we need you. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord, in our needs. We need you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we surrender our worship and your living hand. Oh, Father, Lord, take your place. Forgive everyone of us, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, the glory. Glory, glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh, the glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we give you the glory, Lord. Amen. Glory, glory, puji hu. Amen. Woo. Brother and sister, together we praise His name. Mari kita bersama-sama memuji dan membesarkan nama Tuhan. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory, glory, hallelujah. A glory, glory, hallelujah.
We just want to see the King of Glory, Hosanna, in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Rising up 
to take their place with selfless faith, with selfless faith. Oh. I see a new
Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. God, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, amazing Jesus, amazing Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord, for you have done for every one of us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just want to surrender everything to you, Lord. Because you are Abba Father. You are Abba Father. Who are great heaven and earth. And knows our need. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, God, you're so good. You're so good. God. So good, come on together. Say, God, so good. God, you're so good. He's so good. God, you're so good. You're so good. Julie, God, so good. So sweet, his name is Jesus. So
and say, God, you're so good. together God so good
you're so good. God, you're so good. He is so good. God, you're so good. God, you're so good. You're so good to me. One more time, amazing love. so good to me. You are so good to us, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We are your favor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Yes. Lord, all I am, I give him to you. All I have, I give to God. All we have, we give to Jesus. 
every breath, every step we give to Him. Everything we surrender to Him. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. To Jesus, I surrender all to Him. I freely give. I will never love and trust Him in His presence daily. All to Jesus. 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 
surrender to him. Brother Jesus. Let I be back to you. All the time, all I am. Amen. Carry to Him. All I have, all I have, I give back to You. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, every breath, every step, oh, I surrender. Yes, we surrender all. Surrender all, hallelujah. I surrender. Let's give God a brother and sister. Oh, hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. You may think God wants your gift. You may think that God wants your properties, your wife, but God wants everything about us. Oh, our us. Oh, our, what we have. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, let's continue to worship. Let's continue to worship. Let's continue to leave him hide up on earth. Hallelujah. Kuraba shikiada. He is good. He is good. Hallelujah. Kuraba shikiada bakura bakaba. Oh, shanda bakurianda bakura. Friends, sisters, let's pray for our country. A beautiful country God has given to us. Let's pray for this beloved country that God has put us here. Kuraba shikiada bakaba. We know that we are. Going for the election, coming election is very near. Hallelujah, Father, on the 19th November, Father. Lord, we know Malaysia is for you. We know you rule Malaysia, Father. Hallelujah. We want to bring before you our nation. This people of nation that we given to us is our responsibility as your children of God, Lord, to intercede and pray for this nation. If we do not pray, the hands of God will not move, Father. Oh, hallelujah. We commit Malaysia, this rainbow nation, different inexity, different races, Father. We bring before you, Lord, and these colors of the nation with so many races, Lord. This truly, truly, Lord, like a kingdom of God, Lord, truly is your nation, Father. We dedicate Malaysia to you. We ask you to be involved. We ask you to our hands upon this nation, Father. We pray that, Lord, you will lead each one of us, Lord, guide each one of us to vote for the right person, right Adon, right Ali Parliament. To lead us, to serve us, Father. We want everyone that is who is elected, Lord, to glorify you, to fear you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Father. There's never before the political scenario or landscape is like that, but we know that you are working. You are in the midst of us. You are in Malaysia. Father, we bring before you, Father, the general election, Father. Oh, only you know. Who is the right person? Who is the right government, Father? We loudly surrender this GE into your loving hand, Father. We want you to be involved, Father. We invite you into this generation, Father. Oh, hallelujah, Father. In we right now, it's not only we pray on Sunday. Every day we're going to pray until that day, Father. That is the day that, Lord, you will speak. That is the day that, Lord, you will decide which government, Father. We know that, Lord, when we pray, Father, you listen to us. When we pray, Father, you will not, Lord, do something that is against this nation, against our, your will, Father. Oh, hallelujah. We know Malaysia is blessed. We know Malaysia is for you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. We may be disappointed by things happening, but Father, you, you are always our hope. You are our future. We have you to, to, be, to, be, to be dependent on, Father. And you will never, never put us to shame, Father, because you always for your children, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Father, I pray for unity. We pray for no flood during this election. No lives will be lost, Father. 
We pray for fair and peaceful election, Father. Let all the Christian, every Christian, to vote, to to have our right to vote, Father, because you ask us to pray for the nation. You ask us to pray for the king and government, Father. This is our responsibility as children of God, Father. We will obey, Father. We will cast our vote according to what the Holy Spirit is saying and leading. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father. Amen. Praise you, Father. We especially want to pray for those who are sick. Yes. We are sick. We invite you. Then, Hallelujah. We just want to tell you, Celine Dan is discharged from hospital. She is well. We never expected to be discharged so fast. She entered the hospital with all the blood counts were down. Hallelujah. Even the, at one point, the white count is only 0. 0.7. And painless is 80 or 70. But Father, we thank you for Celine Tan. We thank you that you have healed her, Lord. Even the doctors are, they were pastoring what happened. But Lord, she was discharged after the intercession, after the prayer of your saint, Father. We truly, truly, Lord, thank you for that, Father. We ask for you to pray and to heal those who are sick right now. Even when they stand on the, behind the, between the gates, Lord, for the family members who are sick, Father. We ask you to heal them by, by the stripe of Jesus, they are healed. We thank you, Father. We thank you for this morning praise and worship, Father. Oh, we thank you for wonderful Sabbath that you've given to us. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask and pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome up our speaker to, to this morning. Yeah, Pastor Joshua Nath. If he's visited, not yet. <laughs> he's not yet come to the uh, preaching yet. Yeah, we invite the uh, uh, ushers to come forward for tax and offering. Brothers and sisters, it's a privilege to give to God. It's a privilege to invest in heaven. Yeah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Praise you, Father. We know that, Lord, naked we come, naked we go, Father. There's nothing in this world we can take home. And this is not our home. This is our pilgrimage place, Father. Hallelujah. We know very well, Father. Thank you, Father, for your wisdom to give us this platform to invest in your kingdom, to invest in the heaven, Father. Oh, holy, what a wonderful wisdom, Father. If we do not have this, Father, we will not be able to bring anything back home, Father. Thank you, Father. We ask you to bless each one of us. Lord, those givers, they will give generously, Lord, and you will pour out a good measure, shaken together, running over, will be our portion. That's why we lack nothing when we come to you, when we obey you, when we follow your commandments, Father, we are blessed, Father. Thank you, Father. Bless all givers. In Jesus' mighty name, we ask and pray. May God's people say, Amen, Amen, Hallelujah. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome in the house of God. I'm sure you're glad this morning. Amen. Hello, you want to welcome first time visitors with us? Yu Chi Kong. May I, brothers Yu Chi Kong, can you please stand? We want to welcome you. Amen. Please do join us every Sunday. Same place, same time, every Sunday. Huh? We love you. Amen. We welcome you, brother. Hallelujah. And also, second time visitors. Uh, yes. Uh, Alvin Lim and also wife Michelle Lim. May I ask you to stand and we want to welcome in the usual way. Amen. Second time. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's turn to your protein for special announcement, brothers and sisters. And this church is uh, having activities every day. Huh? Activity. 
every day. Yeah, Monday is our Myanmar service. We know that, Lord. Uh, we know that. And you, you, uh, those who are Myanmarists, you know any Myanmar's along, please do invite them for this service. Uh, Sun, uh, Tuesday, we have Chinese Bible class yeah, by myself. We are finishing, Gomu, finishing 65, 64, Isaiah chapter 64. We're going to finish before end of this year this book, beautiful book. Do join those who know Chinese. Amen. 8 o'clock, Zoom, uh, via Zoom. Combine prayer meeting every Wednesday. We have wonderful time during combined prayer meeting. I do really encourage you because we don't have time for testimony during Sunday. So we will uh, testify during Wednesday prayer meeting. Yeah, very important. Prayer meeting, you have testimony come for the Wednesday prayer meeting. Glorify God. We overcome devil with the word of testimony and blood of the Lamb. Very important. Yeah, amen. Not because we, we, we want to have testimony on Sunday because just the time is so, too short. Yeah, amen. We have an uh, online uh, worldwide meeting by Pastor Kumi saying every Thursday, do join us via Zoom. Yeah, maybe in future, next year we have a physical one, but we, at, at the moment still uh, Zoom. Eh? Except the prayer meeting and uh, uh, our Sunday service and cell group. Uh, every, uh, not every Friday, some of the Fridays we have cell group, live group. Eh? Do, do uh, join the live group because the horizontal relationship is equally important as vertical relationship. And contact sister living for that. If your house is available to to be open for cell group, that is God, uh, brothers, is a tremendous blessing when you open your home for cell group because you invite the Holy Spirit to come to your house. You know, when the Holy Spirit takes care of your home, uh, that's the best person, not your CCTV, not your video, not your alarm system. Amen. Hallelujah. Every Saturday, we have sunrise, sunrise prayer meeting. Yes, uh, this is very powerful, brothers and sisters. You are given chance to share the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Uh, and you know, pray together. Everyone is given a chance to share. It's a very powerful first thing in the morning. Yeah. You ask those who have attended, they are blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. House of praise. We have house of praise every Thursday. Uh, spearhead by Pastor FND. House of prayer. If you have time during office hour, this is only for those who are not working and uh, they are free. Every Thursday, 10 to 11 30. House of prayer. Amen. We pray for the nation. We pray for the world. We pray for the church. We pray for everything that is that needs prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Evangelist uh, special the ministry like social welfare and evangelism ministry. Very important, brothers and sisters. We know that uh, next year we don't know other election whether our country economy is doing well. But we have this. Yeah. Not only help them physical need. Or not only their physical needs, we also help them spiritually. That is different from the social welfare department in, from the government. Yeah, this is a special. We introduce who is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords in their life. We are going to break the curse. We bring the break the curse in their life so that they not only they are helped, but they are their curse is broken. They can be a blessing to others eventually. That's how to overcome all our uh, weaknesses. Amen. Adulam Care Center, very important elderly. All the elderly, uh, amen, brothers and sisters, they are very blessed with this. Uh, you really ask me, that's the only Christian home in Malay, uh, in Saramban that have daily devotion, daily worship. Yeah, daily. Uh, other Christian homes, not so frequent, but this daily. Daily, they meet the Lord. Daily, they are ministered by the Lord. Amen. As I many miracles, many miracles, we expected them to, to migrate on, but they stay back for so many years. You know, they live a strong and healthy life and, and a powerful, anointed life. Amen. Yes, uh, live you every Saturday in form 2.30 to 4.30. Your youth, youth, you uh, we need to have a special section for the youth because they have faced different challenges, brothers and sisters. Not like us, huh? there are many challenges. My younger day, a youth day, is different. The challenges are different from their right now, the, what the youths are facing, brothers and sisters. You really need to uh, send your children or send your youth to this service. Yeah, this is, is uh, uh, led by Pastor FND uh, as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he's younger than me, much more. So he has to lead the younger generation. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. We have uh, this hydroformic farm. Very important. 
and God sent CK. CK, CK, can I use stand? CK is the one who sent by God to help voluntary, uh, <laughs> voluntary in this uh, farm. So he makes sure the quality is good. He's a graduate from agriculture. This is a very, very uh, qualified person. You see, we have a graduate in this, in this ministry. Yeah, produce a vegetable, good quality for the elderly as well as for everyone. Amen. We sell it as a wholesale price. If you can't afford, we can give you free. Amen. Just uh, inform CK. Amen. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Because we want to make sure during these end times, the food, the vegetable is available as a chief cost for everyone. Amen. Not because we, are, I, I, we, we, we want to do, earn any money from this, no. It's just to serve the community. Amen. Hallelujah. And church is not only uh, uh, bless the community spiritually, also physically, just like social welfare department. We bless them physically as well as spiritually. Amen. Christmas is around the corner. Brothers and sisters, remember to uh, book your uh, seat, also book your date, at, uh, lock your date, uh, lock it. Uh. Christmas, Christians usually don't go overseas. Yeah? You want to go overseas, uh, I don't know, you miss the blessing. Yeah, you go see after Christmas or before Christmas. Yeah, Christmas luncheon. This is the best time. You see, for the whole world to celebrate, this whole world is celebrating not only Malaysia, not only certain part of uh, uh, the con- uh, certain countries, but whole world is celebrating. Francis, the anointing is great. Everyone is praying for that. Not because we, 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 we I know some of them is a pagan celebration. No, we use it for God's glory. We use it for evangelism, brothers and sisters. Not using it for any other things. I mean, no, it's, Jesus wasn't born at that date. date yeah? But we use it for God. Every day, every moment, every occasion, we use it to glorify the Lord. Amen. Book your date and book your seat. Yeah? And you can actually sponsor, start, start saving to sponsor those who... You know, you want to reach out. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it's not easy to organize this. It costs a lot of uh, uh, effort to, to organize this. But we use it for the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Those online, we just uh, encourage you to uh, give a tithes and offerings through uh, our online bank. We welcome you online, uh, brothers and sisters. But we do encourage you to uh, uh, come to a physical meeting. Although we uh, lack of place, don't worry about that. I think we can a- a extend uh, or, or increase the number of seats. Uh, and uh, we have a future location for our church, but probably we need to do the three years' time. Uh, yeah, bigger place. Okay. Thank you, Father, for wonderful, wonderful announcement that you've given to us. We just want to bring to you today our speaker, none other than Pastor Joshua Navid. He is a very, very young uh, pastor and preacher together with wife. Yeah, they're pastoring a, a, a vibrant and dynamic church. I think quite a big, uh, two, three hundred. <laughs> Doesn't matter. No, he will share to us, Subang, eh? Beautiful. And, and he is the one who together graduated with Pastor Josiah. Eh, not Pastor, Brother Josiah. Brother is his fellow colleague. But he, you know, God has blessed him. Uh? And he's take the courage and challenge, uh, take the challenge to, 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 uh, to uh, shepherd a church. Yeah? He can always say, no, 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 I'm too young. No, 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 I, I, you know, I don't know how to do it. But he has the courage. He, 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 he takes the challenge. You know, he believes God and he has faith in doing this for the glory of God. I mean, let's invite him. He was with us, I mean, pa- pa- he pa- uh, preached to us before, not the first time. Two years ago, I think, before MCO, yeah, before the pandemic. Now he came, yeah. So you definitely have something to encourage us. Yes, let's invite him in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you, Pastor. Take your time. Ciao. Uh, after Amen. you, after you. Amen. Okay. Yeah. After you. I'm tall, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Can you hear me? Praise the Lord. Wow, this is loud. God is good. All the time. Okay, let me, let me go up and see. Oh my God, I'm too tall. All right. Is this better this way? All right. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. All right, so uh, I just felt in my heart just to read a message before I go to the message. Read a word from the living God. It's in the book of Joshua. Let's go to the book of Joshua. And I'll go to chapter 24. Okay, you have a Bible. How many of you have a digital Bible here? You have a physical Bible? Let's open up the Bible and read together. Hallelujah. Because the Bible is the book that's going to keep us alive. Because the word is alive. It's written in John chapter 1 verse 14, that the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Jesus Christ is the Word. And when you read the Bible, your body is being filled with Jesus Christ. 
We need that in Zen time. He's the, our only hope. Hallelujah. So if you are in Joshua chapter 24, verse 14, I want to read. Now therefore, fear the Lord. Serve Him in sincerity and in truth. And put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the river and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. And in verse 15, And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourself this day whom you, have, whom you will serve, whether the gods of which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river and the gods of the Amorites, whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. This is, a, this is a prophetic statement for this church. We, as the children of God, we, as a church, we only live to serve our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let's give glory to God. Amen. Praise to Jesus. You know, when it's on the way, I miscalculated the time. I didn't know it was 15 minutes to reach here. So, you know, while I was driving... Uh, Thank you, Dr. Khan and, and, and the wife and the, whole, the whole organization, the people here. You guys are amazing people. And man, tell to your neighbor, you guys are amazing. You are amazing. Yeah, it's good to, you know, to sometimes look at someone and say, you are beautiful. You are amazing. You got, see, we as Christians, we got to know how to compliment and to bless one another. Hallelujah. If we cannot love, how can we expect the world to love? We have Jesus Christ and you got to smile today. You got to smile because our God is alive. Amen. Hallelujah. Is your God alive? I can hear Dr. Kwan only. Is your God alive? Come on, you got to shout it because He is alive. Hallelujah. You know, when I was preparing, I, I didn't actually have so much time to prepare. I was thinking, you know what, God? I'm going to go by faith. And the Lord gave me, the, you know, it's so funny. And the word that I'm, I'm, I, the Lord gave me three days ago, for you guys here, it's about waiting in the presence of God. What does it mean to wait? And today morning, you guys are waiting for me. What a joke. I was like, oh my goodness, God. You know, you know, you know this, is, this is, I told God, and while I was driving, you got to be kidding me. You gave me the word three days ago, <laughs> waiting, and now they are waiting for me. So I said, oh my God, I just want to apologize that I'm late. But I praise God that you guys are amazing people. Amen. You're waiting for God to speak to you today. Amen. Amen. Do you have your Bibles? I'll give you a few notes. You can write. It's one, two, three, four. You can just follow it. If I'm too fast, just say, take your hand and say, Pastor, can you slow it down? I will slow it down for you. No problem. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, what does it mean of to wait on the Lord? How many of you here have gone through life and there's certain things that you've been waiting and waiting and waiting and nothing happens. True, right? Come on. And you're telling, I serve the true living God. I serve a real God. I serve Jesus Christ. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. And we know the scriptures, right? All the Bible word. And yet we keep waiting. If you have wondered why, Today is the day you get the answer. Hallelujah. So you know, the word, wait upon the Lord. You can write it down in your books. Wait upon the Lord. Basically, waiter, a waiter. There's two, two meanings. When you say a waiter, is, is someone who you can, what? In the restaurant, right? A waiter. There's two meanings. You can go to Google and check it out. One waiter is to wait. One waiter is to, to be a waiter or waitress. All right? So I'm talking about not that. I'm talking about literally waiting. Tell your neighbor, Let's wait for the answer. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you guys okay? So, so far, so good. Praise the Lord. All right. In the Bible, there are so many references on waiting upon God. And God, what is wait means? Some of you all wait for your wife to dress up, right? How many, how many husbands do that? Ah, whoa, the hand very high, very high. <laughs> That's the truth, right? <laughs> right? And because why? Because you love them. It's okay, take your time, honey. Take your time. It's okay, I understand. If you're just 10 minutes late, it's okay. <laughs> and why? Because, there's a wait, we can, because we can see, we know the waiting period. 
But when it comes to God, sometimes we are impatient. Am I right? God, I need the answer now. Let me show you from the Bible. Let's go from the beginning. I like to do from the beginning to Revelation. Let's see how we go. Amen? Now, let's go to Genesis chapter 8, verse 10. Do we have a Bible reader in the house? In this, do we have a Bible reader? So when I say the words, can someone read? That'd be amazing. Maybe you can pass the mic to that person. If there's a mic, that'd be great. All right? Genesis chapter 8, verse 10. Can someone read? <laughs> Praise God. Oh, oh, Pastor, oh, okay, great. Amen, thank you. And he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent a dove out from, uh, from the ark. And verse 11, Then the dove came to him in the evening, and behold, a freshly plucked olive leaf was in her mouth. And no one knew that the waters has resided. Now, listen to this part. And he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return again to him anymore. So all together, how many days? Seven plus seven is? Fourteen days, he, he waited. Even though the dove brought back a leaf, he, yet he waited so that he will know the right and the perfect time for him to get out of the ark. Now, what is God teaching over here? That as believers, we got to know the right time when to expect God to answer your prayer. And in that meantime, in that 14 days or in the 7 days, you do good. Be happy. Be joyful. Be thankful. And then when you go out on the 14th day, you will be blessed and your prayers will be answered. Hallelujah. And I heard this from uh, Dr. Kwan that you guys are moving to a bigger location. He said three years. I'm telling you something. When he comes on that day, let's do good now. Win souls now. So when the new place comes, you'll be a pack. Hallelujah. The work starts now. Don't wait until you get a big place and then you bring your friend. Nope. You start flooding this place and save people in Saramban, in this area. And so when you go to a bigger place, the place is ready, the people are there. Hallelujah. So it's very important while you wait, you do something about it. Hallelujah. Do you believe? Praise God. I can sense a bit of silence over here. Very serious people. You know, in, in back in Dunami Station, which is in Kota Damansara, okay? Kota Damansara, when I, when I preach the word, sometimes I will do an uh, example. When I read the word, I will just change certain words. Then they'll be like, hey, no, no, no. Then I say, good. You must realize what, whatever I'm reading. Test and see the scripture. You know the Berian people in the book of Acts, Berian? What they do is, they will search the scriptures every time a preacher preach. So after I preach today, I want you to go back home and search the scripture whether or not I'm telling right or wrong. That's how you learn the Bible. Everything that comes out from my mouth should be the word from Jesus Christ from the Bible. If it's not from the Bible, don't listen. Hallelujah. The church is the church of God. You know, when people talk to me, I say, the God of Pastor Joshua. Let's give glory to the God of Pastor Joshua, not to me. I'm just a man. I can do nothing. The Holy Spirit within me can make the miracle. Hallelujah. So you do believe the God of Dr. Kwan, the God of SLA. We have a great God and His name is forevermore, Jesus Christ. The moment you give the, the right glory to the right person, which is Jesus, you will never lack. Hallelujah. So Noah waited for God, God's timing before leaving the ark. Now for those who are praying for something, if you are praying for, a, a, for work, or you are praying for the financial breakthrough, you are praying for your health, what you got to do? You do the exact opposite. If you are praying for health, go and go to the hospital and pray for the sick. If you are praying for financial breakthrough, give whatever you have. Let's say you got, you got a bit of money, say, Lord, I'm blessing someone. 
It's true. The moment you keep and keep and keep, you won't be blessed. When you say, Lord, I want a financial breakthrough, but I'm, I'm, I'm a financial breakthrough, but I want to, whatever I have, I'm believing in faith, I'm going to put in the ministry, I'm going to bless someone. Someone with no food, I want to buy food with them, but what money I have. When you do that, you will never lack because you are experiencing the love of God. Hallelujah. That's the true meaning of being a Christian. Hallelujah. I, I, I started this, this, uh, this uh, new ministry in Kota Daman. It's called the Grab Ministry. Grab. I'm practicing what I preach. So I go out. I, I, I don't drive if I go to Kota Damansara. If you all know Kota Damansara, Damansara is very jam. Okay? So I don't drive. I go to Grab. When I go in the Grab, any Grab I enter, I will make sure, I will pray for the driver or he accepts Jesus Christ. So far, I've saved three. Out of ten, I saved three. The seven more, they will consider it. They find me crazy. I say, I'm crazy for Jesus. I don't care if you call me crazy, I'm going to do it. There was one guy, the Lord told me, tell him he's going to have a child. I panicked for a moment. If I tell him he's going to have a child, he said, I already got three, boss. I so worried. I said, Lord, is that you? Oh, he's the demon. Oh. The Lord said, speak. I say, you know, brother, you're going to have a child. He cried. They were praying for a child. He's a, he's a Buddhist man. He was crying. He said, I was praying. I was just praying. I did this prayer. God, if you are there. The moment you say, God, if you are there, there's only one God that will answer. His name is Jesus Christ. Because there's no other God before Him. Come on. Because He said, God, if you are there. He was not specifying His God. He said, God. And guess who will come? Who will come? Our God will be there. So when I say that, he cried. I stopped. I said, don't cry middle of the road. I need to go to the destination. Don't kill me in the car. Stop the car for a moment. You cry. I'll be there for you. I prayed for him and I gave him my number. I said, I don't want your number. I give you my number. In three months, then you will text me back and say the child is there. It's two months already. And I believe the third month, he will text me. I got that much faith in my God, Jesus Christ. And I told him, that waiting period you're going through right now, do good. Remember, Jesus Christ is the one who spoke to you today. So I want you three months, for three months, I gave him a Bible. Now I carry all this in my small mini Bible in my bags. Take this and read. Read this. And three months then, your faith will be active. You say, what is faith? Can you imagine the life? People don't know all this. How to pray? He say, I, I pray, huh? Lead me, guide me. No, amen so. I say, I teach him. I, rec I took his phone. I recorded my voice. I said, Lord Jesus, you are great. You are powerful. You are merciful. Lord, I pray you answer. I, he's, he's so astonished. How are you praying like this? I said, this is prayer. Lah. And in Jesus' name, amen. I said one thing. Don't use my voice as a bomu. Huh? I'm not a bomu. I'm just a normal man. Don't listen and put that and put the joystick. Please don't do that. I'm just a man. Listen to my voice. Try to imitate my voice and you pray. God will answer your prayer. I believe the wife is pregnant. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, miracle can happen with the right, right time to wait. You notice, everything starts with a waiting period. Amen. In reality, all of us here are waiting for something. I know. Every, even, though, even, though, even though somebody raised your hands up, some of you all are waiting for something. That's for sure. But in the meantime of waiting, let the Lord be in your waiting period. Testing, perseverance, patience, loving kindness. Come on. This got to be activated for God to move while you are waiting. Hallelujah. Another person, Moses, waited on God on the mountain. Let's go. Now, this is powerful. Exodus chapter 24, verse 12 to 18. This is very powerful, all right? I'll read from verse 12. Are you guys there? Exodus chapter 24, verse 12. If you're there, say amen. If you're not there, say amen. Oh, you guys are listening. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Lord said to Moses, come up to me on the mountain and be there. That's all. Can you imagine now? Uh, God come to you and say, brother or sister, go to Cameron Islands and be there. 
So you drive there and stand the road. And God never appeared for seven days. And no sound for seven days. You're still standing the road there for seven days. Can you, can you imagine? I want you to think practically. God said, go up to the mountain and be there. And I will give you a tablet of stone and the law and the commandments which I have written that you may teach them. So Moses arose with his assistant Joshua and Moses went up to the mountain of God and he, he said to the elders, wait here for us until we come back to you. Indeed, Aaron and her are with you. If any man has a difficulty, let him go to them. Then Moses went up into the mountain. A cloud covered the mountain. Now the glory of the Lord rested on Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it for six days. Then on the seventh day, he called Moses out of, of the midst of the cloud the sight of the glory of the Lord was like a consuming fire on the top of the mountain in the eyes of the children of Israel. Seven days he just got to wait because God wants to see his heart. Hallelujah. I don't know why the Lord is giving uh, to all of you here in the church about the waiting period. If you have been waiting, I know maybe some of well you are, Stay strong. God is going to answer your prayers. But it has to come from your heart to persevere. Do not give up. Tell your neighbor, don't give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Don't give up. The Lord loves you. The Lord wants to see you grow. The Lord wants this church to be established on His Word. The Lord wants to see the leaders of this church rise up. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Hallelujah. If the Lord is speaking, come on, you got to say something. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know, in, when, when, you, when you acknowledge the word of the Lord, it goes in you. It goes in you. Uh, last, uh, when was it? Uh, youth meeting. Last Friday. We have a youth service, all right? We just started it, actually. We used to have, and we re-established it after the pandemic, you know? And from... We had actually the first Zoom meeting from zero, we started with 30. And why? Because we had with certain ideas, we start with sports. You know, youths love sports. We go to the futsal, futsal court and we play what frisbee, we play a few things and the youths love it. And once we go there, we capture them. <laughs> they were half unbelievers, that's how we bring them to Christ. Amen? It's the only way to bring the youths, come on guys, sports. They love sports. The moment you preach the word that what I'm doing right now, they run away. This is the generation we live in. Generation Z. I don't know what that stands for. They love to do something. But when they are in church, that's when the word comes in slowly. It's so important. You know, it's so important to win the, win the, the children nowadays. I sense the urgency of saving the children. They are the next generation. They are the next generation. Be the old, I mean, I'm not old, okay? Uh, <laughs> be the young adults and the old generation. We're going to go to Jesus one day and we're going to be happy. But who's going to speak to our younger generation? Encourage them, love them, tell them you, are, you, you, are, you can do greater good. Don't just uh, tell, ah, you're useless. Ah, you can't do anything. No. Tell them they have something that they can give to the Lord. Their heart, their vibrant heart. Hallelujah. That is what Paul told to Timothy. Timothy said, I'm young. You took me when I was 16. I was a small boy. What Paul, what Paul said, preach the word. Because Timothy learned his Bible from his grandmother. His, his grandmother had to teach him. He was, he was raised up the word. So in the, in the young age, he is preaching the word. So don't say to young boy, stop preaching. Let them share the word of God. You as a parent, check the doctrine. If they share a bit off, tell them, hey, come back here. Good, you did a good job, but you must read the Bible first. Amen. Don't tell them, oh, one wrong, get out of here. Don't do that. You know, there's so many, there's the culture, even in, in back in Damansara, they do one mistake, the parents say, don't talk anymore. Shoo. What are you trying to do? You are silencing the future leader. Hallelujah. 
Y'all, y'all have this here? Y'all have this generation here? Y'all feel the same, what I'm feeling? That's right, right? We got to raise the generation. How many of you here are 20 and below? Whoa, no children in this place. Oh, really? You have children in ministry or something? Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. I was like, oh, no, where's the kids? <laughs> so all of you here are 20 and above. Who's the youngest? 70? I call 70 the youngest. The older you get, the more younger you become. Hallelujah. The older you get, the younger you become. And when you reach 80, you are a full-grown, cute baby. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, I have a dad. My dad is 73 years old. And he's the baby in our family right now. I tell you, it's so hard sometimes. He say, I want this, I want that. I want one time me. I want uh, son, I want this. I say, yo, why you become a baby now? You're a baby, you know that? <laughs> they said, I want, I want. Oh my goodness. All right. The older they become, they become babies. And, and when my dad was young, I can't even look him in the eyes. He was so scary. My dad is, is from the military. Navy. So scary. I don't even dare to see him in the eyes. Now he's, now he's become a, like our family baby now. Amen. <laughs> Everyone goes old, right? For all the old people say amen. For uh, all the young people say amen. amen. <laughs> God is good. We're going to live forever with Jesus Christ. We are not going to age. Come on, we're going to sit with Jesus. We're going to talk to him. And he's going to be my son, my daughter. Welcome to the heavens. All of us are going to be the same age. Hallelujah. I wonder if I can go to heaven and see Dr. Kwan there. Hey, we look the same. We are young. Maybe I'm taller a bit. I say, hey, you know what? We are the same age. And all of you there are going to communion with God, with our indestructible body. Hallelujah. A glorified body is waiting for you and I when we follow the commandments of Jesus and live a holy life. Hallelujah. Today is the day we repent. Today is the day we change. Don't wait tomorrow. Why not now? Hallelujah. God is good. You know, I'm excited. Are you excited? Some of you are wearing a mask. I cannot see your smiling face. Maybe you're smiling. Your eyes get smaller. Maybe it's like, that's how you smile. You smile. Ah, I know you're smiling. For those who are serious, the eyes are big. Come on. (laughs) Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then, you can go for Exodus, right? Exodus chapter 24. The ending part, so, so Moses went into the midst of the cloud and went into the mountain and Moses was on top of the mountain for 40 days and 40 nights. How many of you have been to Mount Sinai? One. One. Two. Wow. If you notice, I've not been there. If you notice in Google, the Mount Sinai, the top is kind of dark. If you all notice. The God that came that time has burned, <laughs> the power of God is so strong, has burned the Mount Sinai and until today, it looks a bit different color. You can Google it up. You see like, why is it different color? Because when God comes down to earth, He's going to change everything. The same God that left Mount Olivet is coming back again with power. Amen. Hallelujah. The angels told to the, to the disciples, why are you waiting here? Why are you looking up? The same God is going to come back again. So we are what? What, we, what are we doing now? We are waiting for His what? We are waiting for His return, guys. We are waiting. How many of you are eagerly waiting? I'm waiting. Alright? Look at the world, how the world is going now. Man... Yes, I know I'm young, but so what? I can live with Jesus forever. That's amazing. Hallelujah. And the life that we have on earth until that day, until that day live for the glory of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you alive today? Amen. Tell your neighbor, I'm alive. I am not dead. I am alive. Jesus is Lord. Now, this is another amazing person. Number three. First was who? Who was the first I talk about? Noah. Number two is what? Moses. And number three, let's go to this famous guy called Job. According to the chronological Bible, Job is after, uh, in the, sorry, Job is in the, in the middle of the book of Genesis. According to the chronological Bible. So when you go, you have a chronological Bible, you go Genesis, you turn a few pages, you will see Job. It's, it's stated that Job was not in the line of Judah or whatsoever, but he was a holy man who believes in one God 
and he was in that area. Do you know the earth is quite big, right? So the Hebrew people are here. That time the earth is growing. No? The people are everywhere. So Job was there and he was a good man. And what happened to Job? You all know the story, right? The Lord allowed the devil to take what? Take from him everything. Now guys, put yourself in Job's shoe. What? <laughs> Do you know he got 500 bulls? 1,000, I can't can imagine. For those days, this is a millionaire. I think that is a millionaire. I think so. That's really a millionaire. And everything was taken. Even his children were what? Gone. What a horrible man to be in the time, right? Have you all thought of it? And what did he do? In Job chapter 14, verse 14, he says this. In the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 14. If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my heart service, I will wait until my change comes. Hallelujah. He's willing to wait as long as it takes for, G uh, sorry, for God to answer his prayers. Because he know there is one true God. And that God is giving him this perseverance to stand. Even though he's lost everything, God is giving him his chance for him to stand. God is seeing his heart. But when, because when God blessed him back, you know, wow. Everything became double. That waiting period is so important. Hallelujah. And you can go on, in, uh, you can go on, you can read the whole book of Job. It's a very powerful book, actually. Please read the book of Job, chapter 40, chapter 39 to 41. Wow, it's so powerful. When God starts to speak, my goodness, when I was reading that day, when the Lord starts to speak, I can feel something going on in my body. God was telling who He is and what He can do. I'm telling you, when I read it, I'm feeling the power of God when I read that scripture. Because God is saying who He is to Job. Come on, we serve a living God, people. Don't give up. We serve a living God that can answer all your prayers. Hallelujah. Be joyful. Even though you're going through some hardship right now for some people, smile in the storm. When you smile in the storm, God's going to smile back at you. Even though it takes for a while, but He is there. He's watching over you. He will never let you, He never leave you nor forsake you. Because He is our God. Stand by the Word. Read the Scriptures. Be in the Spirit. Pray fast and have this time with God. And He is going to bless you. That's our God. Hallelujah. That's our living Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, if you're expecting for healing, if you're expecting for healing, don't just come and say, you know, I'm in the church, I'm healing. Yes, believe that your God can heal you. And then when you come in faith, we don't even need to reach out our hand. God's going to reach out first. Hallelujah. Let's, let's you know, some people, they, they, they say, no, if only the pastor touched me, I'll be healed. Praise God. But who is having the power in the pastor? is Jesus Christ. Without Jesus Christ, there can be no what? Healing. Tell your neighbor, I will look to Jesus only. Hallelujah. I will look to Jesus. I want all of you all here, with one voice, say Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Come on, you're going to be better than that. One, two, three. Jesus. It just went to the roof here. You need to go all the way to the heavens, guys. Come on. One, two, three. Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Hallelujah. When you shout Jesus, you, something's happening, right? Because there's no name on earth, in hell, in everywhere, bigger than the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He is alive. Thank you, Jesus. And in the book of Isaiah, this is the fourth person, prophet Isaiah. We went from, you still remember, right? Went from Noah. We went to Moses. We went to Job. Now we're going to Isaiah. Now Isaiah, I will pick a bit. 
a bit, a bit uh, scriptures on there, not everything. Because in the book of Isaiah, has the most waiting for God moment. Has the most. First one is, let's go to Isaiah chapter 25 verse 9. In the book of Isaiah chapter 25 verse 9 says this, And it will be in that day, behold, this is our God. We have waited for Him and He will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for Him. We are glad and rejoice in His salvation. Hallelujah. They are still waiting, but they are glad for their salvation. How many of you here are saved in the name of Jesus? If you are saved, even though you are waiting, be glad. Be joyful. The moment you are being joyful, being happy, your waiting period will be reduced. <laughs> serious. Let's say you're praying for a car. Don't say, you the car. No. You say, my car is coming soon. I believe. And because of that, I'm going to bless someone today. I'm going to be joyful. God will say, wow, your faith. Okay, next week. This is our God. Do the opposite of the world. Don't just wait and wait and wait and the day comes and say, my God, I waited this for one year. Because why? You were doing nothing. Do something about it. Be happy. You know, there was this uh, in person in Pataling Street. They, they, they are actually during the pandemic, it was very terrible there in the Pataling Street. People there didn't have food. Former working people, jobless, and they line up for food. And they were standing there for food. And some of the Christian people, when they go and speak to them, they were crying. They say, you know what they say? In their own terms, okay? Not some perfect English, okay? They said, when no money, no muka. We don't care. Dignity, don't care. One foot, ma. One foot. We just line up, ma. You see, oh, last time, this is my boss, ma. what happened? We don't care. If no food to eat, we, are, we are don't care of our status anymore. So sad to see, right? So Sam, some people went there and helped them out. Come on. We are brothers and sisters in Christ. We got to be the helping hand for our brothers and sisters. We cannot just shut our eyes and say, you know what? They are pasal. No. When you can, you help. And God will bless you beyond your measures. I'm telling you this. I'm prophesying this to you. God will bless you beyond your measures when you give what you have or what you don't have. You go out and reach out. I'm telling you. What Jesus said, blessed is the man that laid down his life for his friend. Yeah. Hallelujah. Jesus did the opposite of what people think. He's a holy man, right? Jesus was holy, right? But who did we eat with and sat with? The sinners. Did he say, hey, you're all sinning. Don't come to my table. My table is holy. He didn't do that. He ate with tax collectors, sinners, to show them that he loved them. Then what, what do you say? Uh, a healthy person need not a physician. Hallelujah. Jesus has been teaching us this 2,000 years ago. Let's do something right now. If you all are waiting for a blessing, be the blessing first. Hallelujah. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 30 verse 18. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's lift our hands up and just thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's thank the Lord. Come and say, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. Come on, thank Jesus. Thank Him for the, for the life that you have. Thank you that you have food to eat. Thank you that you are in church right now. Thank you for this beautiful place. Let's thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 30, verse 18 says this, Therefore, the Lord awaits expectantly and longs to be gracious to you. Do you know God is waiting when to bless you? He's just waiting when He can bless you. But because our heart is not right, is not ready, He's holding back. He's actually, see, He's waiting. 
he's expectantly longs to be gracious to you and therefore he waits on high to have compassion to you on you the, for the lord is a god what of justice be happy be fortunate all are those who long for him since he will never fail them i'm reading the different version i like to read the amplified version to study because the amplified version is the translation from greek so it's, it's really nice to study but i love nkjv oh it's here okay i didn't notice the tv here okay all right <laughs> praise god so the lord is waiting to bless you tell your neighbor ayo i didn't know <laughs> The Lord wants to bless me. Ayo. Come on guys. The Lord wants to bless but I didn't know. I was thinking I must just keep quiet and wait. No, God is waiting when to bless you and I. It's about time you say, "Lord, we need your blessing. I'm going to do something for people. I'm going to change this land. I'm going to be a blessing to others. I know God, even if you bless me or not, I'm going to bless." That's the right faith. Because God is watching. God is His promise here. God is going to bless you, like it or not. But the time is: how long can you wait? Don't wait too long, guys. God got eternity. We got hundred years and less only. God can wait for eternity. Hallelujah. We got how many years? I guess. Oh, say what? Your, your doctor kurang kan the age. <laughs> I don't want to be so mean lah. I said seventy. I said, oh no. Even my dad is seventy-three. So we got. Here and there, lah, seventy to hundred, lah. Huh? Why wait? If you are seventy today, do something good tomorrow, and God will give you the desire of your heart. Hallelujah! Are you blessed today? Yes. It is message speaking to you today. Yes. Hallelujah! You know this very powerful verse. You got to write this down. Isaiah chapter forty-nine, verse twenty-three. I was blessed when I read this word. The book of Isaiah chapter forty-nine, verse twenty-three. Kings. Come on, this is a powerful word. Kings will be your attendants, and the princesses, your nurses, <laughs> they will bow down to you with their face to the earth and lick the dust on your feet. My goodness! And you shall know with an understanding based on personal experience that I am the Lord, for they shall not put. To shame, who wait and hope expectantly for me. Wow, this is some scary word. God is saying, if you are really ready for a revival, the kings of this place, the mayor of this place, will come to church and sit down because they want the blessing of God from you. The hospital will be empty. You know why? They will come here for healing. That is our goal. The churches should be the biggest hospital in the world. And the the, the government say, where are the people? Why the hospital occupancy dropped to two percent? Because ninety eight is in the church. Because that is what Jesus did. Wherever you go, healing took place. Hallelujah! Amen. This church is going to be a church of healing. When people walk in. They will bring their friends. They will say, "No, I went there. My cancer is gone. I went there. My heart problem is gone. I went there. My headache is gone. I went there. My problems is gone because Jesus is here." Yeah. Hallelujah! One believer came to our church two weeks ago. He didn't tell anything. He was praying. We were praying for him, and he went back. The cancer left him. The doctor said, "What? I don't know what to say. You are you okay? The cancer no more in your body." He came to church last week and shared the good news. He came to church just for a worship service, and God removed his cancer. <laughs> Hallelujah! From there we know our God is alive. I didn't even pray for him. I didn't even, didn't even I didn't even know he was there actually. I didn't even raise my hand and say, "Lord, be healed." He just came and sat the back. He said this, "Lord, I'm in your presence. Heal me." God healed him. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Because the doctor said, the, the doctor said this actually, the exact words. I don't know what to say. You can go back. You're okay. Now that is Jesus Christ. It's happening, people. The church is gonna be the biggest hospitals in the world. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? Are you gonna stand together with me to believe it? 
Are you going to stand with your pastor and believe it? Hallelujah, God has called a pastor to be here with you. He's going to stand by faith because he is by faith. And when he stands by faith, when you follow him as he followed Jesus Christ, this church will be a church of healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's so important to stand together, not fight with one another. We may have different churches here. I'm not sure how many churches here. Let's stand, forgive and forget. Let's stand with one another. The body of Christ needs to be united. That's when you can see a miracle taking place in Saramban and all over the world. If we as Christians cannot unite, hmm, you all know, right? Then what? Hallelujah. When did the Holy Spirit came? When they were in what? One a court. Unity of the churches will bring down the power of the revival of the Holy Spirit in Malaysia. We don't need some special guest speaker from other country. We have our speakers here in Malaysia. We have our pastors here in Malaysia. We have the same Holy Spirit and we can, we can pray for our own country. You know why? Because we live here. We love Malaysia. We love our country. We have passion for our country. We have burden for our country. The other people from other places, they don't care. They care about their own place. They bring the word of God. Yes, praise God. But their burden, we know. Sebab kenapa? Ini rumah kita. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Malaysia is our land. So we pray for Malaysia. And for those foreigners who are here, you stand together with us. I know you'll love your land, but when you're here, you pray for your country and pray for Malaysia for a revival. So the same revival in you, you bring back to your country. Hallelujah. Because we are all brothers and sisters in Christ. We have the same God. In the spiritual adoption, we are what? Spiritual what? The sons of Abraham. Hallelujah. So don't worry guys. We might look different, but we have the same God. We might look different. We have the same spirit. We might look different. We can do the same miracle. Hallelujah. Am I too loud? I'm good. Praise God. Some of you are like... You know, I do this in my church. The, some, 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 some auntie will do that. Nah, I say, put louder. <laughs> Let the spirit come out. Hallelujah. Now the fifth person is Jeremiah. Jeremiah. In the book of Lamentation, you know the book of Lamentation? Book of Lamentation. What's the meaning of lemon? Not lemon, lament. <laughs> lemon, you'll have to pass me a lemon juice, huh? Lament means what? To cry, to be, to, to moan. In the book of Lamentation, is it the first time you're opening Lamentation? Open before? I see some of you are turning the Bible to Revelation. Guys, it's the Old Testament. Okay? Lamentation chapter, not Revelation, yeah? Lamentation chapter 3 verse 25 says this. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 25 says this. The Lord is good to those who wait confidently for Him. To those who seek Him on the authority of God's Word. Hmm. Can we read together? Can we all read together this word? Can you know I went to British, huh? Okay, come. Together. One, two, three. The Lord is good. Hmm. Hallelujah. The word seek Him in Greek means what? It means to know the authority of God's Word. Because why? I said from the beginning, the Word became flesh and dwelleth among us. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was what? And the Word was God. Hallelujah! So Jesus is there from the very beginning. The other day in the youth meeting, I shared this. That the, you all have, okay, maybe I'm wrong, there's a doctor here, okay, I must be careful talking medical, huh? okay. What is holding you together? Why are you not soft and floating like a soup now? Why are you so strong, you're standing, your bones, everything? What is holding you? There's a small, there's a cell called lemonin. Lemonin. It's a cell I found it, I was just doing research, a cell called lemonin. You can go to Google and check it out. It's a cell that bonds your protein together and it's the shape of a cross. Wow. 
Maybe next time I'll share about that. The Lord is everywhere. He's in the air we breathe. In Him and through Him, everything was made for a reason. The reason why we are here, the reason why we don't understand, we cannot see the air. Why is your lungs working? Why are you breathing? What are you breathing? Why got oxygen? Everything is because of God. Hallelujah. The air that you breathe is because of the faith that God is everywhere. How can you explain oxygen? Come on. Hallelujah. So we are faith walking. We are in faith, guys. We are living proof that we are living by faith. Praise God. So let's save others to bring them to this faith and the faith that you have right now to show them our God is alive. Hallelujah. And the sixth person is the prophet Hosea. I'm giving some of waiting. I don't know why God gave this message. I believe many people here, you're waiting for something and today is your answer. If you're waiting for something, do good. If you're waiting for certain specifics, what are you waiting for? That's the one you must give. Hallelujah. There was once, I was in church and I was waiting for uh, actually a sound system. We want to get a new sound system. I said, Lord, no, I want a sound system. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You know what the Lord say? Remove the current sound system. Give it to the church in, in uh, Sramban, Mantain, Mantain. Remove the sound system and give. Next week, no, no, my God. Give. I actually removed the sound system. I removed the speaker. I gave. The day I took it out with crying, no, I was crying, you know. God, this Sunday got service. This Sunday got service. Can you hear me, God? This Sunday got service. Remove it and give. Okay. While I was taking out, oh God, then my sound man said, Pastor, okay, are you, Pastor? Pastor, are you okay? I said, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Even though I was crying inside. I, as I take out everything, I put it in my car. A pastor called me. I don't even know him, actually. He said, come to my church for something. So I put it all in the car. So I went there. He said, hey, why your car got speaker? I said, no, I'm supposed to give someone. Oh, not bad. You're blessing people. Huh? He thought I got to check out big, nice sound system. He don't know nothing there. He came inside the church. He said, pastor, you see this church? Whatever you want, you take. So I took all the speaker, all the sound system, all the mic, everything I took, he said, it's all for you. Then my crying stopped. My crying changed to joy. I went, when I went to church, no one knew this. I knelt down in the pulpit. I said, God, I will never doubt you again. But that faith was hard. <laughs> to give when you don't have anything yet. I was panicking for a moment, man. I was like, what? Then God said, easy to preach, huh? Uh, pastors, we get this always. Oh, easy to preach, huh? Do it. The moment we gave everything, God gave me all better quality speakers, better sound system, everything became better. But first, I had to give what I have. And that church is blessed. That church is a very, actually a very poor church. They didn't have nothing and they're so blessed. We gave them my whole sound system, speaker, everything. So God will never leave us nor forsake us. So if you're waiting for something, give first. Hallelujah. Don't go and say tomorrow, oh, pastor say give, give my car away. Please don't do that, guys. I'm, I'm recorded, so I'm safe. <laughs> All right? What I'm saying is, when you give with, with the correct heart, when you give in faith, not blindly, give in faith and God knows your heart, you, I'm telling you, you will be blessed. I'm you will be. It's like 100% sure. Hallelujah. Thank you. I was going to Hosea, right? The book of Hosea. Chap Hosea is Old Testament as well. Chapter 12, verse 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can someone from the crowd stand up and read this word? Not, not, past, not Dr. Kwan. Anyone? Stand up and read. Come on, it's the Bible. You've got to be excited. Anyone? Just stand up. Hosea chapter 12, verse 6. Just stand, just stand and read. Read loudly. So you? Hmm. 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 Hallelujah. Therefore, return in repentance. Let's all say together, God. All together, God. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm going to wait for you. 
I'm going to observe. I'm going to highly regard in kindness and justice because I know you are real. Hallelujah. As we wait, you declare. As you wait, you proclaim. As you wait, you receive the blessings of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is speaking to some people here. I know for a fact. How many of you believe that? Some of you may be asking, God is speaking here today through me. I don't know what's happening here, but I know that my God loves you guys. Hallelujah. And the same power they receive today, tell someone outside when you go for dinner. Tell someone outside when you go for lunch. The other day I was walking in the mall. No one knows I'm a pastor. I look like a big bouncer. So I went out there and I saw this person there. I say, hey, how are you? They're like, oh, who is this Indian guy? <laughs> so big. <laughs> I say, you know what? Uh, you want something I can get for you? Then she, the question they ask, why are you doing this? I love when they ask questions. That's when I bring in Jesus. That's why I'm waiting for the why. Come on, say why, say why, say why, say why. You say why, huh? <laughs> why is because the same Jesus Christ loves you. I came here to bless you with this because He loves you. The moment I say that, it breaks their heart. They will... Hallelujah! It's time for us to go out there and preach the Word. Share the Word. All of you guys, you are, all of you all have beautiful smiles. I've seen. I can see from here. You guys are beautiful. So you go out there, just smile and say, but be careful, huh? If you're married, don't smile to a woman, okay? Or a man, careful. Go with your wife and smile to people and say, Jesus loves you. The moment you do that, I'm telling you, you're going to change this place. Hallelujah. The other day, no, I, I challenged the youth the other day. Go to the uh, giant, buy a goodie bag, 30 ringgit each or something like that. Come back to church and go to our corporate building, go to everywhere and give. When they went out and give, the people were blur. Why are you giving us food? Why? They say, no, God bless you. We are a church down there. This is going to bless you. Simple. I believe it's been sown in their hearts. When they got a problem, they will come to our church. Come on. This is who we are. We are a blessing to the nation. Hallelujah. Let's don't just wait. Don't wait anymore. Tell your neighbor, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm not going to wait. Saya tidak akan menunggu lagi. Yes, saya akan maju terus. Ah, hallelujah. Tuan kita maha kuasa. Hallelujah, our God is great. You now I was serving in an Indonesian church as a song leader and as a youth pastor there for five years when I was slightly younger. <laughs> All right, in my 20s. I serve in Indonesian church. We have about 300 members. And we serve there. I was the worship pastor there. So I learned to speak Basa pretty good there. I can serve in Basa, but now my Basa is getting bad. So <laughs> I'm trying my best. But I can sing in Basa, no problem. Hallelujah. So when I serve, when you give, you know, when I used to work, uh, I'm an electrical engineer by profession before. And I work as a circuit engineer. Every day I work 12 hours. I work myself to death, so tired. And, but still, my heart, I want to go to church. After 12 hours, I go to church to worship the Lord. When I reach the church there, I'm already bouncing. I'm floating. Actually, I'm floating because I'm tired. They thought the Holy Spirit, no, I'm just sleepy. I was like bouncing there. I clap my hand, I miss my hand. Like, I was so sleepy. And then, when I go to the drums, I was playing the drums. I was just hitting the drums. One fine day, while I was playing, I slept and I fall backwards and I fell down. They thought the Holy Spirit hit me. No, I was sleeping. <laughs> then the pastor, the song, hey, where drum? The tang, boom, 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 boom. Hey, hey Joshua, are you okay? Hey, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just, I, I felt the presence of God. <laughs> I have to say that, ma. How to say I'm sleeping? Uh? <laughs> so I wake up, I start playing. All oh, thinking, it's crazy or what? Oh, I'm like, Ooh. Like, imagine I play drum and I fall and sleep. And they thought it was God. Praise God. Hallelujah. I tell you, after years, I laugh. When I, uh, I told God, no, what the things I did for you? This is funny. And after the service, you know, I hurt myself a bit. They say, wow, God really, wow, power. Huh? Now I say, yeah, praise God, praise God. I walk outside. The, the auntie come to me. Wow, you're so cute. Are you, uh, wow, you fall. Eh? Wow. I say, what really with you? Huh? Yeah. 
slowly went the car, ran away home. <laughs> run lah, what to do some more? Because I, the more I wait there, <laughs> the more I wait, ah, <laughs> habis cerita. <laughs> and then I went back after four years, I tell actually I sleep lah. <laughs> Ah, you know, tell us. Uh, no, no, of course, that day, the power, man. Give God the glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So, you know, things, we, when we serve the Lord, when we serve the Lord, we really do it with a glad heart. I didn't care when I was sleepy. I just want to be in the presence of God. I know I was so sleepy, but I just want to be there because in the presence of God is where I'm alive. I'm alive right now. I'm excited right now. When you come to church, you've got to be excited because this is our home. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, welcome home. <laughs> ah, you don't say, no, la, my house got nice couch, got nice bed to sleep, got big, the TV as big as this hall. That is not home. That is house. That is a house where you feel welcome home is the presence of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. In the book of Hosea, Hosea warned the people to return to God and wait for Him. Hosea chapter 12, verse 6, right? Therefore, return in repentance to God, observe highly, regard the kindness and goodness, wait, expen uh, wait expectantly for God's continual. It means you're waiting, right? And we go number seven. Then the seventh one is Micah. Micah is where? Old Testament, New Testament. Okay, you guys are Bible readers. Praise God. Micah waited for God for his salvation. Micah chapter 7 verse 7. Can someone go there? Micah chapter 7 verse 7 says this, Therefore I will look to the Lord. I will wait for God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Tell now. Jesus. Come on, follow after me. Jesus. I know you will hear me. Do you believe that? Let it be so. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God's going to work a miracle. I want you all to stand together with me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, the, the scripture that, the scripture that I feel in my heart, that we should have in our hearts always, is the book of Titus. Titus chapter 2, verse 13. In the book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 13 says this, Looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God is great. Looking for the blessed hope. In Greek, it means what, no? Waiting for the blessed hope. Thank you. Let's worship the Lord. There's minimal music. Let's play something, some normal chorus. But I just want to worship the Lord. I want everyone here to, to proclaim the love of God here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, you are good. Your mercy is in yours forever. Everyone, look to Jesus. Lift your hands towards the Lord. He's going to speak to you today. As we wait upon the Lord, in your quiet room, wherever you are, remember that He is actually there. He's waiting for you to make a decision to say, God, I'm going to do something. I'm going to bless someone. I'm going to change my life so that the blessing will be there. Let's not just wait, but let's do something for the Lord. Father, I pray. And for those who actually you were praying, you were waiting for something. I know there are people here who actually were waiting. If you are the one, lift your both hands up. Let's lift and say, Lord, here I am. And I pray that God will urge in your spirit to be the blessing. And as you bless, you're going to be healed. And as you bless, you're going to be prosperous. And as you bless, you're going to see change in your family's life. You're going to see salvation. The moment we move, God will move. The moment you have faith, that faith will arise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Rakababa Sanda, Rakababa Sunday. Come on, let's pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
Fill in my heart. The worship team. God is going to anoint you in a different way. Yes, hallelujah. But before you all play, I just want every one of you all. Come, just stand in front. Yeah. Every one of you all. Just yeah, stand in front. The Lord is going to move. Uh, uh, maybe someone you can just help with the keyboard. Everyone, I just felt in my spirit. There's, there's a new anointing upon every one of you. New anointing. New anointing. Because when you play, when you worship... Heaven's going to be open. Thank you, Jesus. Hikababa Sunday. Uh, play, uh, G lah, can. Carry on that bus. Play, play. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Rakababa Sunday, Rabba Sunday. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. Everyone, just, just be in the spirit. God is not done with anyone yet. He's going to bless everyone. Hallelujah. Because the first in line, all of you all need to pray for your pastors and your team. They are the first in line. When you're first in line, it means what? In the presence of God, you're worshipping here. As you pray for them, the, the anointing will come. Unity in the church. In every single department of the church, God is there. Hallelujah. Mighty God, we pray, Jesus. Do you have the oil? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Uh, do you have a mic for the singer here? Yeah? Can you sing? Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh. Oh, da, 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 no. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, mighty God. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, let your power move. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let your power fall, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, pray for the anointing, the anointing, the anointing of the Holy Ghost to be upon her. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire, fire of God. Fire of God. Fire of God. In the name of Jesus. Flow within her, Lord. Oh Lord, within here, Lord Jesus, your power and your love in the name of Jesus. Anoint her, Lord Father. Anoint her, Lord Jesus, in the name. Receive. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Anointing. Father, anoint her. Anoint her. Receive this gift of worship, healing, power in the name of Jesus Christ. Rika Masande, Rika Basando, Rukumasanda Ramashate. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Father. Jesus, anoint them, Lord Father. Give a new melody, Lord Father. Oh, just begin worship. to just Holy worship Spirit, Jesus and lift up His name to just be in His presence. In the name of Jesus, oh, Lord Jesus, do not doubt. Jesus, just receive the power of God. In the name of Jesus, worthy God, we welcome you, Lord. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Your name is power. Your name is 
Jesus. 